Hello world, Shelly here, and today I'm going to do an eye look with the Ofra Signature Palette Luxe Pop the Champagne Eyeshadow Palette. Nice neutrals. I got this in my January Ipsy, so I will give you a brief rundown of what is coming in some of the Ipsy Glam Bag and Boxy Charms for January. Then we'll do this eye look, and I was inspired by this month's theme. Glow your soul. They say soft launch the new year by getting relaxed, recharged, and ready to take on whatever comes your way. Nourish your skin, play with color, practice kindness to yourself and others, and make sure you feel pampered every day. Now, that made me think about the fact that we can be pretty hard on ourselves. And so today, while we do our little get ready with me, I want to chat about mindset, in particular, the oh, Ziva is climbing in the Ipsy box. Please don't do that, Ziva, you're making noise. What was I saying? You'll see her in a moment. She's about to jump on my chair. The, particularly the lucky girl syndrome that people have talked about. It's really just a little mindset hack. And so I wanna talk about mindset and why positive thinking can benefit you and why you also shouldn't go overboard with it. So that's what we're, we're just gonna do a little chit chat and put some makeup on. Let's talk about Ipsy and BoxyCharm real quick. Check the screen for a timestamp if you've already heard all this and you already love your Ipsy and your BoxyCharm. But basically it's a monthly subscription. You have a few options. The Glam Bag is $14 a month and you get five deluxe sample size products of which you can pick one. The bags are super high quality. They're always cute. They're always different. They're very often themed with whatever time of year it is. They're fantastic. So in this month's glam bag, I'm not gonna use any of this today because it doesn't fit in with the look I'm gonna do, but we have a Downtown Paris Rose Gold Liquid Eyeshadow. We have a Verify Eye Cream, 2020 Eye Cream, and these are not all of the things that you could get. Ipsy and BoxyCharm, Ipsy sends me a sampling of these things. Yes, they send this in PR. I'm part of their creator incubator. Thank you, Ipsy, for sending me these free of charge. I appreciate you, but I paid for Ipsy for many years before they knew who I was. Uh, from Ren, we have the Radiance Glow and Protect Serum. I've had something from them before and I liked it and I can't remember what it was. We have a VC Collection Island Eyeliner. It looks like a smudgeable tip here. And lastly in the glam bag, we have Ultra Set Mini Translucent Setting Powder from Toy Factory. So that is a sampling of what you get in your glam bags. Now the BoxyCharm, remember they used to be two separate services. Last year they merged. BoxyCharm is now the middle tier of the Ipsy offerings. It is $30 per month. You get five full-size beauty products of which you get to select three of them which is awesome, and here's the selection they sent to me this month. Paradox Volume Blow Dry Spray. This is a Root Lift Mega Volume Blow Dry Spray. We also have from Feel Squalane Facial Oil. Now, I make my own Squalane and Agave Facial Oil, so I will be gifting this one. You can find my skincare products that I make. I only make a handful of things. I'm, I'm, I'm playing around with the idea of making some more things, but I have a squalane oil that I'm actually wearing right now in my skincare from this morning. Uh, but we have that from Feel Squalane is one of my absolute favorite skincare ingredients. Get it on your face. If you are not regularly using squalane, it is fantastic. We have the eyeshadow palette that I am going to use today. I'm not gonna use this on camera, but I'm very excited. I love the brand Saturday Skin, and this is the Apple and Peach Rise and Shine Gentle Cleanser. I don't have this, I was gonna say flavor. Don't eat your cleanser. I don't have this scent yet, and I'm very excited. I love apples, but I don't really like peaches. I'm interested at the combination. I'm hoping it's more apple forward, because I love apples. I don't like eating peaches, but the smell of them's okay if it's combined, anyway. I'm happy, I don't have this yet, so I'm very happy. I have a lot of Saturday Skin stuff, but I don't have that one. 
And I am going to use, the packaging is super cute on this one, I'm not familiar with this brand, Instant Crush from Half Caked. These are lip glosses. Let me show you this packaging. It's just like adorbs. Oh my God. Did I just say that out loud? When's, that's not even a cool word anymore. I don't know what I'm talking about. The other day in class, the other day, it was a few weeks ago now. I'm on Christmas break, winter break. Uh, the other day in class, what word came out of my mouth? Not sus, not suspish. I think it was sus actually. I was just, I don't remember, I don't know what I was talking about. And I was like, oh, now this is, this is sus. And then I'm like, you guys, I've never said that out loud in my life. I don't know what just came out of my mouth. I hear you guys say it all the time. I teach college, sophomores to seniors in college. Uh, so these are the lip glosses and I, I'm a lip gloss girl. Yeah, that came out of my mouth. I was like, what are you saying? I'm currently testing the e.l.f. Camel Hydrating CC Cream. I don't have the rest of my face on yet. Let's do my eyes. MAC Paint Pot in Painterly. So, let's do a little chit chat on mindset. Now, you may have or may not have heard of the Lucky Girl Syndrome. It was really big going around on TikTok early, earlier last year. And I used to be a person that was like, Mindset is all woo-woo stuff, you know? I just didn't see the point. And I am also a science person, you know? I, I like evidence. I like science. I like things that have been proven. I like facts. I'm one of them. And as I learned a little bit about the neuroscience of reality and perception and the way our brains don't exactly know the difference. They really only, like perception is malleable in your brain and so your perception is your reality in a weird way. That opened the door to me looking into some of this stuff. And from the last handful of years, maybe three years now, I've been actively working on my mindset and it changes everything. You can literally program your brain. And so when we're talking about glowing our soul and stepping into a new year, I think it's a good time to try some of this. Let's dig in to this eyeshadow palette. Looks like a pretty straightforward neutrals palette. We've got some mattes. We got one metal shimmer going on in the middle here. We have, this looks like a satin finish. Yeah, this one looks like a satin as well. So these two are the mattes. That's kind of perfect as far as what I would want to do with them. Yeah, let's do this. I'm gonna dig in for Wayne Goss. This was his second brush launch, his second version of his number five. And I'm gonna go into that, the lightest matte that we've got. So first let's talk about what the lucky girl syndrome is. Should I zoom you guys in a little bit? Let me zoom in. This isn't like an eyeshadow tutorial, but at least you'll be able to see what I'm doing. So lucky girl syndrome, as, as demonstrated on TikTok, is essentially this sense that some people feel more lucky than others. And I say feel more lucky than others because, you know, the, the, the term luck is really one of those subjective kinds of things. Things that appear lucky are often actually the result of a whole lot of patience and a long lead up of hard work that went into whatever is now being considered a lucky break for somebody. And that's not to say that there aren't random events that come out of nowhere unexpectedly or didn't have any kind of lead up to them. Yes, there are like strictly lucky things that can happen, I guess. But um, the idea behind lucky girl syndrome is that like some people are just luckier than others. But then the next phase of that is that you can kind of make yourself a lucky girl. And I, I use the term girl just for the pop culture reference. This applies to anyone. You don't have to be female for this to apply. I'm gonna go into this darker brown. 
And the trick behind it is that what you do is whenever something positive happens, even the most random thing, you acknowledge it outwardly, consciously, as a positive thing. And so, for example, there's this... I go to Jimmy John's, and the street that I pull out onto is a busy street, you know, six-lane divided highway kind of a thing. And it's often very trafficy because it's like the shopping area of the town. And it used to make me very nervous. And I say used to because this lucky girl syndrome trick actually took away the fear I had and the anxiety I had around this particular turn that I have to make when I'm leaving Jimmy John's. So when I pull out of this this parking lot onto this very busy street into the turning lane where I'm going to do the U-turn that is going to put me in the direction I want to be going, when I pull out and there is no traffic and I get a nice smooth entry into the turning lane, I say to myself, and you can, you can say this any which way, I say to myself, everything goes my way. And you just want it to be some kind of validating statement that acknowledges that something positive just happened. And actually, when I'm in a good mood, I'm usually like singing things in my head. So I actually turn this into a little song and it goes like, everything goes my way, everything goes my way. Uh, whatever, it's not good. It's not a good song. But it actually then boosts my mood as well. So, and then when I'm finishing that turn and I get to turn into the oncoming traffic and it goes smoothly, I sing it again. And so when these little things happen in your life, you consciously point them out to yourself. Now Ziva's eating plastic. Would you please, please no. I'm trying to tell a story here. So what ends up happening is, number one, your brain doesn't really know the difference between reality externally and like you thinking about something. So you telling yourself that everything goes your way, your brain's like, okay, everything goes my way. And over time, what happens is you start to do this unconsciously. So what ends up happening in your brain, there's a little bit of confirmation bias going on. I can't find my Smith brush. There it is. Confirmation bias is where you tend to notice and interpret things that confirm your existing beliefs. And if you have programmed an existing belief that everything goes your way, you're going to notice more of things when they go your way. And the, that reinforces, it's like a positive feedback loop that you have going on. It also is... We have a selective attention where we're going to pay more attention to things that reinforce other things. And so you're getting that, that sort of loop of reinforcement. I'm going to go in. I'm trying to decide here. This is difficult. Do I want the more orangey one or do I want this? I'm going to go in with the more orangey one to start with. You also, by sort of training your brain this way, you are improving the neuroplasty of your brain, your brain's ability to grow and make new connections. And that has lots and lots of benefits, especially as we get older. You are also potentially reducing stress because thinking positively about things and then having all of this repeating feedback loop of positive thinking happening as it becomes more and more unconscious instead of you having to consciously point all the new things that are positive out to your brain. Your brain will just start seeing them through that sort of selective attention. Stress reduction, more relaxation, a better ability to cope with what's going on around you, and you can you can also have a placebo effect from some of this. 
I'm gonna go in with I'm gonna I'm gonna go straight to the highlight shade placebo effect meaning like you know when they do like drug trials and people will be on the placebo meaning they're not actually getting the active ingredient that's being tested but they will still experience an improvement in their condition mainly just because they believe that they are getting the drug or the the whatever that positive stimuli is even though they're not they can still have actual improvement in their condition so there is some potential for placebo effect with this sort of a positive mindset kind of a trick so it's one of those things that because I started doing the lucky girl trick I notice it most pronouncedly at that intersection when I'm leaving from getting my sandwiches because I don't have anxiety as I approach that intersection anymore. Like I go to leave and I'm not even thinking about it anymore. I'm not like, oh, I hope the road's okay. Oh, I hope the traffic's not bad. Oh, I hope I can see around that. Oh, I hope there's no big car in front of me. All those things that used to go through my head because it's one of those like half blind turning lanes and I feel like I'm just gonna pull out and someone's gonna smash me because I didn't see them. Like, I don't think about that anymore because, I, and when I do the math on it, it's like, actually, most of the time, everything does go my way in that intersection. There's rarely enough traffic that I have an anxiety producing incident, but I just, I made it up to be something so big in my head and it, it gave me fear and anxiety and we're gonna go into this dark brown shade. So I am a very, very big believer in the power of positive thinking. Now, that is not to say that everything's positive and you shouldn't turn everything positive. Uh, you can take positive thinking too far. Toxic positivity is a thing and I don't like toxic positivity. But as long as you are not changing the objective reality of what's going on around you, you, you can really, really like, what benefit was having anxiety about that intersection serving me? I'm a careful driver anyway, so it's not like I'm now careless. I haven't changed how I drive. I've just changed how I think about that intersection. You know what I'm saying? And if it is a dangerous intersection, you don't want to be reckless. I don't want to do anything that ignores the objective reality that I am operating a motorized vehicle on a very busy street with lots of traffic and other drivers that might be distracted or might not be careful or whatever. <laughs> like, I don't ignore the objective reality of the risks of driving, but there's just no need for that anxiety around it. And this has really, really helped me. And now that it just happens sort of naturally and I don't even have to think about it a lot of the time, feel like this eye is not as dark. It's, it just, it helps me so much. It's, it's a weight off of my mind. It frees my mind up for other things. It doesn't give me negative vibes. It brings more positive vibes into my day, especially when I, when I sing it, because that just somehow triggers my brain to think I'm in a good mood, even if I'm maybe not in the best mood. But then I've literally had moments where I'll come across some, I'll get a green light where I almost always get a red light. Now that everything goes my way. Eh, eh. Then I'm like, yeah, everything is fine. Like, why am I being such a snotty downer? Like if I, you know, if I'm just having a grumpy day, I'm like, let's not be grumpy. Let turn that frown upside down. Like when there's no reason to really be negative, then let's be positive. Like, you don't have to take it too far. I'm not advocating for toxic positivity. I'm just saying that a few little injections of positive thinking can be very valuable. I'm gonna take that highlight shade. This is a random crown brush, C513, that I use for my inner corners and for my brow bone highlight. So that is my advice to you. If you aren't already doing something like this, try it. See if it makes a difference. 
in just your general outlook on little everyday things. I find that it also, because I'm having selective focus now that I've been doing this for a good year or so, like that selective focus makes negative, minor negative things just don't have as much of an impact, and which is good, I don't want them to. If it's not a big deal, just, you know, don't worry about what you can't control. Worry about the things you can control. There's a lot of things I'm working on in my in my own personal mindset journey, but uh, I still feel like this eye is darker. I don't know why. Maybe it's just the lighting in here. Really, almost no fallout from... I think that's actually mascara from last night and not fallout from this eyeshadow. Yeah, very minimal fallout. The color, the color story is boring to me, but, <laughs> but I don't wear neutrals very often, and I really rarely wear anything bordering on warm tones, and this is pretty warm for me. Let me go do the whole mascara, waterline, pencil, all that good stuff. I will be right back. Okay, Urban Decay 24-7 waterline pencil. Suggestions in the comments, please. I've been using this waterline pencil for years. I mean, I've bought multiples of them not this particular pencil, the Urban Decay Waterline Pencil, has been my favorite for years. Because it doesn't transfer to my lower waterline very much, I usually only do my upper waterline, but uh, I, it doesn't last all day on me. I have yet to find a waterline pencil I can use that both lasts all day and doesn't transfer to the bottom, and I'd rather it not transfer even if it doesn't last all day, which is why I keep buying this one, but if you have recommendations for one that doesn't move and lasts all day, let me know. Just black, just black waterline pencil. It's all I want, it's all I want. I don't think I ask for much, I really don't. I am wearing, finished off my face, little Too Cool Art Class as Contour, the new Butter Glow Physician's Formula. What do they call this? It's their bronzer and blush. The blush is not dark enough for me which is weird coming from someone who doesn't like to wear blush, but uh, the bronzer shade is gorgeous. Love it, love it, love it. And my blush I'm wearing, oh, is it, did this come undone? It feels wobbly inside there. I think it popped out. I think the glue came, <gasps> it did. The glue came out of the pan. Oh God, the pan is flying free. Good energy, ColourPop, which I guess is probably just as light as the one in here. I don't know. I really should have worn more blush today. I don't know what's happening. It's okay. Mascara is Color Street Triflex on top. Estee Lauder Double Wear Zero Smudge on the bottom. Brows are just the Jones Road Clear Brow Gel because it's lovely. And now that my hair matches my brows, I feel like I don't have to fill in my brows as much. I don't know. Maybe I'm just feeling lazy. Let's check out these awesome Lip glosses! I say awesome because the packaging's awesome. Should I wear the clear shimmer or should I wear the pink shimmer? I'm gonna wear the pink shimmer because it looks like it matches the blush. Maybe that'll be the magic that ties this whole thing together. Regular old doe foot kind of applicator. Oh, it does have, ooh, fruity. Ooh. All right, hold on. This is giving me uh. Strawberry shortcake vibes from when I was a little kid. Did you all... <laughs> Did you all have strawberry shortcake? Okay, this is more frosty than pink. I need a little bit more pink. I'm gonna grab my... I'm telling you, this Merit Flush Balm is like... you. It solves all the world's problems. I, I'm... Because first off, I need a little more pink on my cheeks. So we are going to just go in with a little bit here. Just a little. And I need a little bit more pink in my lips. So we are going to go in with just a little. Okay, now I can't use that finger. Let me use this finger. Oh, you see? Perfect. 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 I don't remember what I was saying right before that. Now I can't reach a Kleenex to wipe my hands off. Ah, there we go. Mm. Yeah, strawberry shortcake. I had 
the sleeping bag. I had uh, I had a lot of strawberry shortcake. This is giving me strawberry shortcake vibes. That's a that's a good good little nostalgia trigger is happening, making me happy, making me happy. All right, finished look. I have no conditioner in my hair since I dyed it. I forgot the conditioner when I was washing my hair in the sink, and so my hair does really weird things. Like look how fluffy my sideburns are. Without conditioner, they won't stay down. <laughs> But anyway, uh, I've been, I think when I go get my hair cut again, I'm going to have her do like some intentional bangs. Like this has been non-intentional bangs because I was like spiking it up. But now that it, I let it grow too long and it's growing out. But now I kind of want bangs again. Remember when I had my long hair and I was cutting it short and I had stopped here at first to gradually ease into cutting my hair short because I wanted to make sure I didn't regret it. And no regrets. And I cut bangs in that kind of wolf shag cut look thing. But my hair was super curly and my bangs were being ridiculous. I was like, well, I guess I'm done with bangs. Well, I don't know. Since I've been cutting it out, now they're straight again. Like they're doing the way they've always been my whole life, which is I like. I'm not complaining. Never, never complained about my hair being straight. Uh, so I think maybe, I don't know, is that like the most cliche New Year's thing to do is cut bangs? I mean, I already kind of have them, but I, I think I'm going to be intentional about it. These are accidental. Anyway, let me know what you think. I get, I get very polarized reactions to what I do with my hair and, um, I love taking lots of people's feedback. I love to hear it. Ultimately, I'm going to do whatever I decide is best, so, you know, I can filter that through other people's perceptions, but, uh, do what you think is what you should do. Do what you like, but I would love to hear what you think, because maybe you guys have ideas that I don't have. I don't know. Here's the finished look. What do you think? Ah! Lip gloss feels really nice. It does not feel sticky in even the littlest way. These are, these are really pale and pale frosty shades on a very pale complexion don't often work for me, but amp it up a little bit with a little bit of color and, and you're good to go. It feels beautiful. I can't feel the glitter at all. There is a little bit of shimmer to it. Can't feel it even a little bit. So I'm going to say bravo. The Ofer palette, easy to apply. Plenty of payoff, colors are nice. Uh, it's just not a color story that I would typically gravitate toward. But I can't lie, things like Ipsy, one of the best joys, I feel like I'm so chatty today, I'm sorry I'm talking your ears off. But one of the best joys of these subscription boxes are that I end up with things in my collection that I wouldn't have bought myself, but I end up being glad that I have. Because, you know, if I go on a trip where I need to do neutral toned down makeup, well, toned down to me anyway, like, I would throw this in my bag because it's a good collection of colors. I can get exactly the look, like the way I like to do a look, which is like dark on the outer corner, medium to the middle, light on the inside. Like, you know, I do the same eye look over and over and over again, basically, just with different colors. And so this works perfectly for it. So like, I enjoy the fact that these subscription boxes expose me to new brands. They get me to try things I wouldn't normally ever have picked up on a store shelf. And... It's good. Exposure's good. Trying new things is good. Anyway. Glow your soul this new year. Let me know if you try the lucky girl hack and what are your mindset tricks? What do you what do you do to keep yourself on the up and up to promote growth within your mindset? Let me know. I would love tips, tricks, books, podcasts, Give me all, give me all the resources. Share in the comments because it's been something I've been into for a few years and I'm always, always looking to grow. That's, that's my thing. As always, thanks a lot for taking some time out of your day as I choke on my own saliva <laughs> to geek out over makeup with me. I appreciate your time and I hope you guys all have an awesome day or night wherever you are in the world. Check me out on Patreon, link down below. Take care of each other. Bye-bye.